We all wish we could bring our Disney vacation home with us, right? To have that Disney feeling every day? Well, why not start your day the Disney way with a Disney blend from Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company. With over 23 varieties to choose from, from the French Bistro you find in your resort room to the Yachtsman's Steakhouse and Gico, of course, and now Joffrey's newest Disney blend, Le Cellier. Why not start your day with that Disney magic? Order yours today at joffreys.com. Oh, oh, hey, Bob. Yeah, yeah, Tim, what's uh, up? Before we start the show, we have a little bit of a boo-boo. A boo-boo? I know, the last show we I'm forgot. going to kiss the boo-boo. No, don't kiss the, oh, please don't kiss the boo-boo. We forgot a little <laughs> something at the open. Oh, my gosh, yes. You know what it was. Oh, uh, one of our little super loopers, Jacob. We, uh, we, we forgot to put his open at the beginning of the show. You say forgot, I say failed. <laughs> <laughs> 355 shows in. That's what it took. Uh, we've made a lot more mistakes than that. So. That's true. <laughs> but uh, uh, should we put Jacob on now? I think we should. Jacob, take it away. Hi, Bob and Tim, or Tim and Bob. This is Jacob visiting Disney's Vero Beach Resort. You're listening to the Resort Loop Podcast. Bing bong. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To our new passengers, aloha and welcome aboard. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us. Still, I'm Tim Scott. I'm Bob Collins. Not like we just had to start the show over. <laughs> <laughs> no, we would never do that. No, because we're not going to edit. We're just going to start over. We're just starting over. Man, I hope we don't get to the end of this and, and screw it up and <laughs> just start this all over again. Um, this is, uh, this is of course, wrapping up our, uh, or getting close to wrapping up our uh, summer series, the Disney Senses. Tim, what are, we, what are we talking about today? We're getting very close. Today, we're uh, going to go with uh, sound. Sa- huh? what, what's your favorite sound? No, I'm not doing it. I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite sound at disney world your favorite sound that reminds you of disney or when you're there you go yes i have arrived i got a, you know i got a couple i got a couple that uh remind me when i'm at home and of course mm-hmm. absolutely when you get down there gee oh my goodness there's so many when you get down there so uh why don't you uh start us off looper nation's been uh, kind enough to give us their uh favorite sounds of they, disney they have so Go ahead, Tim. Go ahead. Starting out of the gate, Tony McDaniel. He says, Bing bong, por favor, mantengas de alejados de las puertas. Uh huh. Uh huh. Kind of close, but not really. Let's, let's just, here you go. Please stand clear of the doors. <laughs> por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. Wow, oh, you, you changed your voice. That was, that was, that was that much better? It was, your voice <laughs> sounded fantastic. Well, thank you very much. It's a new, uh, <laughs> I call it the monorail processor. <laughs> Run that through. All right, so uh, we're going to play that every time. <laughs> oh my goodness! Say that that is uh, that's the uh, your favorite sound. So uh, Jen Stead said, uh, "I second that." She likes that. Mm-hmm. Uh, it goes on to say, "I want to also add the harmonica melody to Zippity Doo Dah. It's always been a favorite sound of mine, and it takes me back to my laughing place. Absolutely, you can't can't go wrong with Zippity Doo Dah. Oh no, it's a classic." Good job, Jen. Scott Danziger. He says, walking in Epcot and hearing the background loop as it kind of rises up and envelops you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he says, the boats in the water next to the smells. Wait, 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 wait. We're not talking no. smells. <laughs> nope. Come on, nope. Scott. Not yet. And then he says, uh, the anticipation of the day before you're entering from the boardwalk and life can't get any better until you hear the serenade of, stop crying. Don't do that. Don't you know what this vacation costs? Be nicer to your sister. <laughs> So help me if you don't listen. <laughs> and these are thrown into a symphony of your day when you know you're on a Walt Disney World vacation. And may I add as yes. well, uh, uh, I don't want to go to Disney. I want to go to, where did your daughter want to go? Oh, Houston. Houston. Yeah. Houston. I want to go to Houston. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> also, stop touching me. He's touching me. Oh, that was last show. <laughs> that was the last sentence. Stop saying stop. what I'm saying. He's saying what I'm, stop saying what I'm saying. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Scott uh, Stragman says, um, the good morning song, welcome song at Magic Kingdom, the sound of the train whistle as we hear it from the balcony at Bay Lake Tower. 
the main entrance loop and Innoventions loop at Epcot. The first time you hear that bing bong and monorail spiel. Oh, Absolutely, Scott. Without, without a doubt. Oh, member of the blogging team, Tamara Spidell. She Tamara. Goes, Tamara. She goes, I love the good morning song. Then she goes, sadly, I may have ruined it for my daughter. When she's dragging and not getting, up, getting out of bed on time for school, I bust into her room and sing it as loudly as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the place where dreams come true. That is awesome. We need that on tape, Cam- Tamara. Yes, please send that <laughs> Go to Go grab us. that for us. That's awesome. <laughs> Kelly Fico says, uh, the sound of the Walt Disney World Railroad train choo-chooing as you walk off the monorail up to the front gates of the Magic Kingdom. Oh, there you go. Of, I love that. Vanessa Kinney, uh, the sound of the monorail doors opening and the entrance music on Main Street lets her know she's home. Yeah. Nice. You know, that, that Main Street music is just so special. It, it is. Really is. A uh, good pal of the show, Keith White, says uh, the music for Spectro Magic, Ooh. Pirates of the Caribbean, and Soren. I would also say the sound of any go kart makes me think of Tomorrowland Speedway. That is true. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> or a loud and, riding and lawnmower. Sad. <laughs> a loud riding lawnmower. Right, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, Christy Leach, uh, she says the song, How Do You Do from the Ride Splash Mountain. You know that song, oh. Bob. Yes, I do. I love that song. I cannot smile I, when you hear that song. Splash Mountain is one of my favorites. I just I can't get enough of that. Mm-hmm. I really can't. Uh, Mindy Carnes Muir says uh, the uh, sounds are uh, what make Disney. The monorail whoosh along with the bing bong. I know I'm home. Good morning. Good morning is the perfect tune to wake up to in the sound of the steam engine from the train. So many wonderful sounds from Disney. And she goes, ah. Oh, Mindy, thank you very much. There is, you know, there is something about, and you know this, uh, you've stayed at the Poly so many times, walking underneath that monorail as it goes underneath you, or over top of you, rather. Oh, yeah. And you hear that whoosh. Oh, always look up. Oh, that just gets you so excited. You do that you in know the contemporary you're there? as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's it. Uh, Brian Francoeur, I hope I got that right, Brian. He goes, the first time I hear, have a magical day. <laughs> Sounds like vacation yes. to me. That is That's- true. If you're lucky you at get... home, you'll hear a have a good day. Right. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Yeah. When you're there, you hear have a magical day. You're not hearing that at uh, home uh, or at, uh, yeah, Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> not normally, no. <laughs> not normally. Uh, good pal of the show and uh, on the uh, uh, round table, Chris Malik. He says, uh, sorry, Bob, based on your opening line, my mental imagery has you as the lead singer of the Georgia Satellites. Oh, He's he's going back to my uh, my Facebook post of, uh, of that. You guys just go look that up. I was going. You weren't keeping your hands to yourself, apparently. <laughs> uh, Peyton Turner says the sound of magic wrapped up in pixie dust. <laughs> oh, I, I thought it was the sound of your wallet opening up and your money flying out. No, you don't hear that. <laughs> no, until you get no. home and you let out that scream when you open the bill. Wait, the credit card <laughs> statement. Yep. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh, Tony McDaniel just uh, he says yep. Yeah, agreed with that turners. one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Love it. Jason Osborne, he goes, the monorail bing bong and walking right down the middle of Main Street USA song. Yep, that's a good one. Oh, Main Street, uh, lots of love. Nathan Trent, Tomorrowland loop. That's a good one, too. Oh, Nathan, that's a good, that's, that's a good solid loop there. I enjoy that one a lot. Yeah. Uh, Sean Woosley. Fish Sean Woo. Fish Sean Woo. He goes, the loud clicking as the runaway train ascends the mountain on Big Thunder Mountain. Also, oh, more, more, another one for the entry music at Epcot. And then Wishes and the music in the queue of Space Mountain. He calls it cheesy and nostalgic. Absolutely. That's what makes it great. What makes it fantastic. Everyone loves cheese. <laughs> Everyone loves cheese, <laughs> especially old cheese. Uh, Moose Martin says, hit it. Oh, you mean hit it? Hang on, hang on. Hit it. I'm re-racking. Re-rack. Bam. Please stand clear of the doors. <laughs> Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. To our new- I want to start the show every time I hear that. And, right, exactly. Let's start again. And, and Moose goes on to say, and listening to Magical Mouse Radio at home uh-huh. puts me back at Walt Disney World. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, from our good our good friends over there at the... Right. Uh, Mike Rollman. <laughs> Mike Rollman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. I, I do know. It's okay. It's yeah. okay. It's been, for, you it, need some coffee, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's been a long day. Yeah, get some of that Le Cellier. It's very good. 
I, I have some of that. It is fantastic. I know, I know you do. Uh, Tim Elbing Jr., he goes to the Welcome Show at the Magic Kingdom. That's a good one. I'll be honest, this is getting a lot. I mean, I knew it would get some love. It's getting a lot more love than I was anticipating. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of folks that that starts their vacation. You know, the Magic Kingdom is kind of like the start of everybody's vacation anyway at, at Disney. Most Tip, people typically. go there first, yeah. Right. So, uh, Rob uh, Myrick says uh, the Epcot entrance loop. Uh, once I hear it, I know it will be a good day or the monorail announcement. Please stand clear of the doors. Dot dot dot. Exactly. <laughs> I love the dot dot dot. Exactly. <laughs> Jason Mitz says, I believe the music played in the area background loops is the thing that takes uh, me back to Walt Disney World the easiest. He says, for instance, the loop that plays in Epcot near Innovations East. When I hear it or my kids hear it, they know exactly where they've heard, heard it and they have a great family discussion begins. That's cool. And uh, Boardwalk Resort right. also plays some great 40s era jazz music that takes them to their favorite places quickly as well. Yeah, I love that. I love that type of music. Oh. Music's so integral to uh, theming, no matter where you're at. Right, right. Have you ever seen where they they will show like a movie, uh, and then they'll show the movie without the music, and it's just it's not even the same movie. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Emily Hansa Hicks says uh, totally Epcot, but then uh, also the Grand Floridian Society Orchestra. They're very good. Oh, you're right there in the lobby. Yep. Oh, yep. love it when they're playing or that uh, the pianist uh, over there when he's playing it's fantastic mm-hmm. when you lock walk in there right brandon miller he says my wife's saying mommy wants memories <laughs> when my daughters don't <laughs> want to stop for a uh, one more photo pass photographer <laughs> i love that <laughs> thanks brandon absolutely uh brian cern says my wife saying you know i think we can swing it this year <laughs> and so i start planning uh my uh, son's first trip. Oh, wait, that happened yesterday. So, oh, ooh, good well, for you, Brian. Yeah, Brian, the Stern family is going to have a good vacation. Absolutely. And as soon as you get that okay, you got to book it right away before there's any chance to you know think about it. That's right. <laughs> well, it's already booked. <laughs> exactly. You might as well go. Exa- exactly right. Um, I don't even know if we can cancel at this point. That's right. I think we're going to lose I've everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jocelyn Martins, um, my favorites. Same as Moose Martins for uh, Por Favor, Mantegas, De Alejados, De Los Partes. I'm going to be an expert by the time the show's over. <laughs> and all the back room, background loops on Magical Mouse Radio. Yeah. I love the background yeah. loops. Absolutely. They're great to listen to uh, while you're working around the house. Yes, yes. Or just driving in the car. Absolutely. Fantastic, yeah. Uh, Florence Hanky Porter, good pal of the show, says mm-hmm. uh, the train whistle and the happy screams coming from thrill rides. Yes. Yeah. Love the train. Sheila Ginsburg. You taking a drink? Sorry. Oh, Sheila. Uh, I caught you. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila says, start with those Florida birds singing outside your resort that you hear as soon as you wake up. And she goes, and then for me, it's hearing the train conductors all aboard as you enter the Magic Kingdom, followed by the Main Street background loop and the Dapper Dance or the Trolley Show. I'm there as I think of these sounds. And she sent us a photo as well. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Thanks, Sheila. Thanks, Sheila. Very nice. Thank you, Sheila. Uh, Summer Leganic says uh, that train whistle. You know you're home when you hear that steam train in, in the distance. P.S. I love your podcast. Uh, thank you for all you do. You and Tim to keep uh, Disney in our lives between trips. It means a lot. So, Aww. Summer, thank you very much. Thanks, Summer. That's very nice. Uh, Callie Hoovler says, uh, Wishes and Soren. Those two soundtracks never fail to take me back to our trips. I love Absolutely. Soren. Soren's fantastic. I, Soren, you can't beat Soren. Can't, Not at all. Can't beat. Uh, Lori Gauthier says, uh, my favorite sound that makes me nostalgic for Disney is the song When You Wish Upon a Star. Oh, yeah. I know it was one of Walt's favorites, and it always reminds me of walking through the castle and entering Fantasyland. Oh, love that one. Yep. Uh, Liz Forte, I race. Hope I got that right, Liz. She was on the buses when they announced Take Small Children by the Hand. My husband always takes my daughter's hand, and even though our first trip, she was uh, eight, and now she's 16, it always makes me smile. Oh. That's true. Always grab your children's children's hand when they say that. That is very tender. That is. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Uh, my daughter would just shove me out of the way. Might, <laughs> might shove me in front of the bus. I don't know. <laughs> she's not going to shove you in front of the bus. <laughs> uh, Stephen Myron... Uh, a Ariola? Yeah. I, I'm guessing. I'm sorry, Stephen. 
Uh, go ahead, hit it, Tim. Hit I'm it. telling you, you got to hit it. I'm, I'm hitting. Please stand clear of the doors. <laughs> Por favor, it's easier. Alejado it's de la easier cuenta. this way. <laughs> <sighs> we, we can't do that justice. Come no, on. No, come on. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so Freddie Pagarulo. Pagarulo. Pal, Pal Yerulo. Pal Yerulo. Pal Yerulo, I know that. Come on. Or as we call him, <laughs> Freddie P. He goes, there are so many sounds that will bring you back to Walt Disney World in an instant. But there is one sound that is simply the most wonderful, and that is the soundtrack to Soren. Whether you hear it as you're entering Epcot while lined up in the queue or on the ride itself, the Soren music swells up inside your chest and takes you to that happy place that Walt Disney World is famous for. I'm glad yep. they kept it for the new version of the ride. Absolutely. I can't agree more, Freddie. And I've not even seen the uh, the new uh, Soren yet, but optimistic that sooner than later. I know. I can't wait. I can't wait. Mm-hmm. That's coming October, folks. What? I'll be there in October. Crazy. Details to come. <laughs> uh, Beth uh, Terminelli de Salvo says uh, the boat slash fairy horns. I love that one, Beth. Unless, of course, you're Len Testa over at the uh, bungalows. Then, <laughs> then you're you waking them up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. Teresa Hodgett says uh, the welcome home you hear on the bus on the resort buses. Yeah. Nice. Love that. Welcome home. Yeah. Molly Ann says, the Magic Kingdom train whistle. I can't believe the train is getting so much love. I know. People love the train. Molly Ann says, uh, which can be heard from all of the resorts around Seven Seas Lagoon and Bay Lake, is one of my favorite sounds. Even though you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere at Fort Wilderness, hearing that train whistle reminds you that the Magic Kingdom is nearby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also love all the different boat horn sounds you hear on Disney waterways. At home, I listen to lots of background loops and attraction music. Nice. That's a theme as well, if you notice throughout this. People like listening to this stuff at home. Mm -hmm, Absolutely. Take the magic home. Bella Weber, she goes, I know I'm at Disney when I walk into Epcot and the entrance music is playing. I'm constantly on YouTube uh, playing that soundtrack. 64, 64, five more days till she goes back. Bella, you're going to have a great time. It's shorter than that now. I'm sure. Well, I'm sure. That's awesome. Bella, have a great trip. Be safe. Have enjoy, fun. Enjoy the sounds. <laughs> yeah. Send us a show open. Please. How how could she do that? Tim? If she wanted to do that, she would call us at area code 414. WDW. Loop. Simple as that. Thanks, Bella. Uh, thank you, Bella. Colleen uh, Finnegan says, obviously, the monorail bing bong in mm-hmm. the recordings. I also love the music at Disney Springs or any of the background loops. Nice. There you go. Uh, Kelly M. Sparks, she goes, the slow, quiet boo to you that gradually glow, grows louder before a crack of thunder and the parade begins. Ooh, nice. A, I hope I get to hear that this uh, this next trip. I think you will. So Kelly coming uh, at us with a seasonal sound. Yeah, I like that. Well, I got to tell you, I love the Christmas music. I, Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> the, I'm getting you down there soon <laughs> at Christmas time, my friend. Uh, Christy Kerr Rata says, uh, the sound of Tinkerbell's wand mm. from my childhood. It was uh, the indicator to turn the page on the Disney storybook. Yes. And the sound also started the Disney Sunday night movie. Whenever I hear it, I am instantly flooded with magical memories from the past and the joy of ones to come. Oh, Christy, thanks. How about that one? I forgot about that. Turn the page. And that was the, that was the sound. Yes. She nailed it. awesome. Wow. Ian Hetherington, she, um, there you go. Uh, it's a small world soundtrack. I'm not saying I like it, but it is undeniably Disney. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then the womp followed by the screams of joy in Typhoon Lagoon when the big wave is about to hit. Oh, that's true. And the whoosh each time a car passes a test track. It goes on to say, that's a uh, good one. That is a good one. Sunny uh, Eclipse of Cosmic Rays and the Reflections of Earth soundtrack to Epcot Fireworks. Ooh. Love it. I like that. Yeah. Love the Reflections um, of Earth. Adam Blystein says, uh, the whoosh noise of the monorail. I like that one, too. That's yes. very cool. Uh, Dee Dee Herring, a uh, big band music always uh, takes me to the Disney Hollywood Studios, she says. The sound of the train whistle takes me to the Magic Kingdom. Uh, my innovations background uh, music audio on my phone reminds me of sitting on a bench outside the Fountain of Nations looking at Spaceship Earth. I love almost all the park's black background music. I love the whistle sound uh, Big Thunder makes, too. Brings me back to my childhood. Also, the Matterhorn's abominable snowman roar was something I grew up with being from California originally, so it's very nostalgic for me. 
oh yes, I searched the Disney Cruise Line horn songs on YouTube just so I can <laughs> close my eyes and feel like I'm on the Disney dream. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. I do enjoy we should the do, Disney dream. We should, we should do a little poll and ask Looper Nation uh, how many of them um, go to YouTube and listen to the uh, the sounds. Oh, yeah. And watch And watch all those uh, great YouTube videos out there. Oh, I'll bet a lot of them do. Yeah. Uh, check out Tyler Travels TV, by the way. That's oh, a great a, one. Great one. That's a great one for, uh, for Disney stuff. Uh, Corey Johnson says, uh, when you wish upon a star, not only reminds me of wishes, but it also takes me back to my childhood. I could not wait to watch the wonderful world of Disney every Sunday night growing up. Oh, right. Absolutely. And uh, Brett C. Williams says, I love this one and agree 100%. I don't have vivid memories of the wonderful world of Disney, but when I hear this song, it immediately invokes feelings from my childhood. Yep. Yep. That's uh, that's my wife's favorite song. Right mm-hmm. there. So, uh, Brett C. Williams says, oh, wait. Oh, he continues. Go ahead. Yeah, he continues. Oh, I'm he continues. Sorry. I'm sorry. I Jumped ahead. I missed the break. Uh, so many, but one that immediately comes to mind is the uh, beeping of the buses and the sound of their hydraulics for loading or unloading guests. I generally abhor public transportation, but I am the biggest advocate of it while staying out on Disney World property. The others are the musical loops played in the parks, and they are often subtle, but when you hear them, you know exactly where you are. Yeah, very right? nice. That is very true. That's, that's true, yeah. I didn't think about the noises the buses actually make when they stop, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mark Birchfield says, uh, I say the monorail spiel. The family says it's the Main Street area music. Oh, that? Well, I, think you're, I think you're both right. Yeah, exactly. Don't pick a fight yeah, on over that one, Mark. There's no <laughs> wrong answer to this. Come on. Uh, Monica, Mo, Mo, Monaco Javier. Sorry about that. Hi, guys. If there is one thing I've learned from your Summer Senses series is that Disney successfully engages all of our five of our senses. It's amazing how a smell or a sound can trigger a strong memory from a Disney park. I really enjoyed hearing all of the answers that loopers have shared. For me, the sound that makes uh, takes me back to a Disney park is actually a song. I bought the Disneyland Legacy Collection CD, and it's full of songs that will instantly take any Disney uh, park fan to their favorite place. The third song is called Merry Life. And while uh, most people would recognize it as a song from the movie Up, I associate it with Main Street USA. Mm -hmm. Anytime I'm walking exactly down Main Street and I hear this song, I feel like Walt himself chose the song perfectly to enhance my experience. Whenever I hear hear the song, my mind instantly wanders the sidewalk outside the Emporium, where if I'm lucky, I might catch a performance of the Dapper Dan's. But the only thing that could enhance his out-of-body experience would be a cup of Joffrey's coffee to go with my daydreaming. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nice plug there, Monica. And Monica goes on to uh, say, uh, thanks again for the Summer Census series and have a great day. And uh, he sent us a picture as well. Yeah, Monaco takes fantastic oh. photographs. And uh, he's one of our new bloggers, isn't he? A new blogger. He's gonna be, we're going to be getting some blogs from him. I'm sure we'll have good pictures to go with that. And he's just he yeah. has a true eye for photography and is a true artist. Yeah, truly. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Matthew Wallace says, uh, I have recorded sounds in the park to play back when I miss uh, home. One is the sound of the monorail as it floats past Spaceship Earth. Another is under test track track with cars racing overhead. What a rush. Nice. How cool is that? I wonder how many people do that as well, record their own audio. That's true. Probably more than we know. I'll bet. Uh, Brett uh, Bedoin, hope I got that right, Bedoin. I think I see, well, let's just do it. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse <laughs> alejado de las puertas. He said that's when his vacation really starts. And it's also the message uh, for the ringtone, the message ringtone on his phone. So he probably just checked his phone. He probably, he's probably <laughs> going, did somebody call? You have What's to back it up because you will have missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Paul uh, Toronicki says, uh, the sound when you connect your magic band to the Mickey Orb. At the entrance to the park. Yeah, that's yeah. a new one. The orb of magic. Orb of <laughs> freedom. Uh, Matt Birchfield, he goes, the banjo music from Port Orleans when you walk through the main check-in area. Ooh, nice. I'm telling you, the background music is uh, is the way to go. Uh, Murray Conway Jr. says, uh, for me, it's the soundtrack music. Any parade show, attraction, park, background music, all of it. 88 days to go for Murray. All right, Murray, 88. Less than that now as we find, we're find we finding out. <laughs> yeah, you have a great trip too. Uh, Scott E. Fody goes, although we'll see soon, the theme from the Main Street Electrical Parade always gives me chills. It was the first parade I ever saw on my first ever trip to Walt Disney World as a child in the mid-80s, and that started it all for me, he says. Yep, 
That very distinctive. Very distinctive sound. Oh, it is. Uh, Tamara, again, says, uh, besides the bing bong during my favorite podcast, hearing train whistles brings me right back to the Magic Kingdom, no matter where I really might be. Oh, that's nice. Who else is using the bing bong? <laughs> what? She didn't mean us, I hope. Did she mean her, us? Her favorite podcast? <laughs> Is Roman using the bing bong? Why, that Roman, that, I'm going to get you. That, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike knows we love him. <laughs> Trisha B. says that The Lion King was my first Disney movie and the beginning of my love of Disney. So anytime I hear the circle of life, which is pretty often, <laughs> I know I can't be the only one who listens to Disney music while driving. She's asking Looper Nation. No, Let's Trisha, see. you are correct. <laughs> <laughs> it brings back all my memories of my first two trips, uh, of my first trips to Disney with my family. Also, nothing says Disney more than my fiance giving me the daily countdown on how many days until our next trip. And there that, you go. And Trisha, that's why he's your fiance. He's a smart man. Exactly. <laughs> You've trained him well already. Good pick there, Trisha. <laughs> uh, Barbara Holloway Hamilton says, uh, oh, so many. The boat horn or train we can hear from the poly. The music, including Soren, poly music, future world music, the sound of test track in the last corner. Last but not least, the voice of the monorail. I could go on and on. It is my favorite sense because I can hear it anytime on YouTube, etc., and keeps me happy until my next trip. Oh, and of course, the sound of Tim and Bob on the podcast. Oh, thank you, Barbara. Wow. I yeah. thought they listened to this without audio. That would be the, <laughs> probably the best way to go. That's a, sometimes the way we recommend it. But <laughs> oh, Very kind words. Uh, Sandy Lopez says, The music uh, from Waiting in Line for Test Track. I find myself humming it when I think of Disney World. Hey, there you go. Nice. Uh, ben Lappin says, uh, Bing bong. Nice. Oh, we got another one here from Scott Fody. He goes, uh, Got another one. Hearing It's a Small World. The epitome of when you think of Walt Disney World that jumps to mind when you hear the song. True. That's true. That's, that's true. Uh, Julie uh, Highland says, Epcot music entrance, especially from the old days. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, Joe Quat. Joe. Joe Quattrochi. Because the sound of Disney World for me always seems to revert back to the Disney World transportation. The first would be the door closing chime on the monorails. He goes, the famous bing bong. And the second would be the sound of the Walt Disney World Railroad whistle. The whistle from the engine can be heard from miles away. Even when I'm playing golf at the Palm and the Magnolia, you can hear the sounds of the whistle while on the golf course, giving you a friendly reminder that you're still indeed in Walt Disney World. Yeah, there you go. Joe, awesome. That's cool. That's that is a good one. Very cool. Uh, Pat Giannetti says, well, since Joe took both my answers, oh. I'm just going to say bing bong back to Bob and Tim or Tim and Bob. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Let's jump over to Twitter uh, for a little bit. Uh, Girl Meets Neverland says, uh, the people mover narrator. Even though he always tries to talk over me. He says, bad manners. <laughs> <laughs> I'm usually too tired to talk or move once I hit people mover. Oh, my goodness. Uh, Shannon Dovero. D Dovero? I think so. Close enough. Sorry, Shannon. Oh, oh no. Shannon, uh, uh, <laughs> Shannon yeah. Doe Review. Doe Review. Yes. Shannon Dover Review. Ah, gotcha. Uh, the music loop as you walk in Epcot and the beeping and hissing of the Disney buses. How about that? I'm surprised the Disney buses are getting the loop, getting love for the uh, hissing. People are paying attention to these sounds. They are. Uh, Emma Wagner at uh, Emma Lou 2484 says, uh, come Monday, playing at the old Key West Resort. No, we never want Mondays to come. No. <laughs> Unless that's the day you're checking in. <laughs> Unless, yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> then I want to hear it. Oh, goodness. Kel at Kel -Watt, Kel Watt says uh, the bing bong and swoosh of the monorail doors closing. I oh, like that, too. Classic yeah. one. Uh, Morgan's Wild Ride says uh, the Illuminations or a uh, Spectrum Magic soundtrack makes me cry like a baby every time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Illuminations is just, it's incredible. I love it. Love it. Uh, Saturday Morning Media at Saturday M Media says Epcot entrance melody. A lot of, lot of people love an Epcot. Oh, especially, the, oh, I do love that entrance music. Uh, Debbie yeah. Jones uh, Vetsky, hope I got that right. Uh, Deb V60. It has to be the train whistle to Magic, Magic Kingdom. The sound that signals you're about to take a wonderful trip into a different world. Mm. Uh, Monina Wagner at uh, Monina W says uh, number one, steam train pulling into station at Rope Drop. Yes. Number two, wishes as we end our day 
And number three, it's a great, big, beautiful tomorrow because Carousel of Progress is the best attraction ever. That's why we love her. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, awesome. Right on all three, Melina. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Sean at uh, Sean C009 says that the, the horn for the resort launch boats. Like that one. Absolutely. Zaphoid at Dr. Zaphoid says uh, the howl of the haunted mansion wolf. Nice. That's a good one. That's an awesome one. At Kelly Pope Addison at Disney Kids Guide says the Disneyland Today uh, turnstile ding. And on the old pirates, the fading scream of the lady as the guy gets dunked in the well. Oh, that is true. Yeah. Uh, Jason Beam at uh, JBAM8 says, hearing, hit it. Hit it. Hitting. Hang on. Got to re-rack it. I'm re-racking. <laughs> my mouse. I lost my mouse, but I found it. I'm going to play it right now. Please stand clear of the doors. Por favor, manténganse alejado de las puertas. There you go. Oh, got a little bit and, more Mr. Uh, Wagner in there. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome home. Also hearing the sound of the train. I cannot believe how much love the train is getting. I know. Nick Salcedo at Nick Sal C and D and D. Hope I got that right, Nick. He goes, the pre-recorded intro on the bus or monorail on the way to the parks. And this, he says, uh, wishes brings me to uh, mainstream at night with my family. Oh yeah. I mean, wishes is just, oh, if they are, is there talk that they're going to get rid of wishes? I hope not. I've not heard anything right now with wishes, but yeah, that's such a good one. Oh. Such a, uh, good pal of the show, Christina at Raising Las Vegas says, uh, my summers home from college were spent going to the park to catch all the concerts. Nice. Around Halloween, I always change my ringtone to Grim Grinning Ghosts. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's an awesome one. Megan O'Dell, she says she shared our post and she goes, I miss Florida. <laughs> Shit. We all do, Megan. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, I love that. Uh, James Jamie Price says, of course, the bing bong I hear at the beginning of your show puts me right back on the monorail. I love listening to audio from the attractions and fireworks shows as well as uh, Mouse World Radio. I also play uh, a game on my tablet called Disney Dream Treats. Whenever I uh, clear a level, it plays a bit of Fantasmic. On a more personal note, on a trip five years ago, my kids got into a ridiculous argument concerning a turkey leg. Hmm. It's not a Disney trip unless we joke about or reenact that fight. <laughs> I think we're just getting the beginning of that story. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think there's so much I, more to be told. I need pictures. <laughs> or surveillance video. Exactly. The whole thing sounds foul to me. Doug Willing says, uh, I'd love to hear the, <laughs> sorry, I can't help it. Doug Willing, I'd love to hear the horns from the boats as we uh, love the Wilderness Lodge and Fort Wilderness. There you go. Those, the horns from the boats and the train whistle, man. Yes. Uh, who'd have thought? <laughs> who'd have thought? Uh, Nick Massey says, uh, the sound of Jack Skellington excitedly singing, what's this? We typically go to Walt Disney World late in the fall, so watching the Nightmare Before Christmas the night before our trip to Walt Disney World is tradition. Although it might not be considered a quintessential Disney movie, it always gets us in the Disney slash holiday mood. And even though there's always debate about whether it's a Halloween or a Christmas movie, he puts in parentheses, Christmas, exclamation mm -hmm. point, uh, it works whether we're there for Halloween or after, since the parks are decorated for Christmas so early. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the very next day. Exactly. Yeah. And no one really complains too much because it's so beautiful. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's going to complain about it. <laughs> and uh, let's finish up here with Terry Pritchard. He says, I love the Ep Epcot entrance loop. All of the nighttime parades, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, but I really miss the Tapestry of Nations parade and the mm -hmm. music from Epcot. As a performer in the Power Boat, the Power of Blast, we could get uh, to hear that parade several times a day. I still love the sing along whenever I hear it and the sound of the torches being blown out before illuminations. Sorry, I just kept on listening. Terry, you're <laughs> fine. You're good, Terry. Thank you, uh, Terry. Thanks, uh, everybody, for participating in uh, in that sense. The uh, sense of sound from uh, Disney uh, just amazes me, the things that uh, folks came up with, Tim. Oh. Um, forgot about the uh, wolf howl over at the uh, Haunted Mansion. I You can hear that over at uh, Tom Sawyer Island. Oh, which yeah. Which is really cool. I think you can hear it at the Polynesian sometimes if it's quiet enough, like in the morning. 
Is that right? I want to say so. I'm pretty sure. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Probably definitely over at uh, the... Um, uh, Floridian? Not the Grand Floridian, the Contemporary. In the back back there, maybe. Oh, it could be. Oh, right. Um, but uh, thank you all for uh, participating in that. We've got one more sense to go, but uh, before we announce that one, uh, Tim, what what is your favorite uh, sound that gets you in the Disney mood, or know you know that you're there? Well, I'll go. I'll go quickly. I'll give you three. All right. One, Terry Pritchard stole my tapestry of nations. Darn you, Terry! <laughs> Darn you, Terry! <laughs> Bring you to the heck. <laughs> and then I also the boat whistle from the launches. I've always loved those. Oh yeah. And honestly, for me, everyone has to know this by now. It's the bing bong. That's why we put it at the open of the show. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So none yeah. of mine were really original from anybody else, but that's those are the three of the ones I like. How about right. you? Yeah, the please stand clear of the doors is just, how can you not love that? Right. Um, you know, for me, it, it, it when I'm down there, it's, believe it or not, it's the close of the mon- monorail doors. It's when those the doors close. I don't know why. I just mm-hmm. love that sound. It's right. like, yeah, we're here. Let's go. Um, but when I'm home, um, of course, you know, doing the show, we're, we're always listening to Disney music. But uh, I'll drive in. I like a lot of the old big band, big band music. Mm-hmm. And I listen to a certain radio station up here in Northeast Ohio that plays a lot of that on my drive into work. And every now and then they will hit a song that just reminds me of either Main Street or one of the really old Disney cartoons. Okay. And I just absolutely love uh, that old music um, that, that transports me back to Disney. So that uh, that's it for me. I We could go on and on. I mean, there's just so many sounds. We could. But, uh, but something's starting to stink. Oh, that might be me. <laughs> In Denmark. I'm sorry, it might have been silent but why deadly. Is always, <laughs> why is it always Denmark that uh, something? I don't, I don't know. know. Or some kind of Danish know. cheese. I don't know. But... Uh, Danish cheese. Huh? No, you know that's all uh, I got. This, it's not. Dan- <laughs> it's not actual. No, cheese Danish. It's quite good. Oh, oh. Because mm. cheese Danish is very good. So Danish cheese, not. So, I don't know. Actually, any kind of Danish is darn good if you think about it. <laughs> well, we just we just lost all the uh, all the listeners in in Dane. <laughs> um, <laughs> Come on, we love them. They're our great Dane listeners. Uh, oh, wow. uh, I'm sorry. I know. I know. We are just digging a deeper hole, aren't we, folks? We better so just anyway, keep going Tim, forward. Uh, uh, what will be our next uh, Disney sense? We will close out series. the summer in our summer census series with the one people have been begging for this, Bob. <laughs> yes, they have. They've been jumping the guns since <laughs> they the beginning. Have been. They've been trying to sneak <laughs> them in. We're going to go, what's your favorite smell that reminds Ooh. you of Disney? It Ooh. can be good. It can be bad. It can be pleasant. It can be maybe not so pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no crop dusting, please. Oh, my goodness. There's don't, a term. Go into a corner. A corner? The park. Don't you want it to air out? You don't want to hover in the area. I don't. I, well, make sure it's not an area that I'm walking through. Well, just there is asking. That. There is that. Oh, oh. We better wrap up there. Wrap this up. I can't even talk. <laughs> uh, Tim, you go grab some Joffrey's coffee. Uh, and you know uh, that is all I've got. Thank you guys for everything. Oh, everybody, thank you so much. I'm Tim Scott. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. The website, resortloop.com. Yeah, I'm Resort Lou Bob on the Twitter, Instagram. Don't forget to like us on Facebook. Rate us over there on iTunes. Uh, send one of one of those show opens to us. Listen on my heart uh, or iHeart Radio. My <laughs> your, heart. your heart radio? I, <laughs> it will be. Uh, I'm buying the, the whole thing. Uh, <laughs> what else should people do, Tim? Oh, everybody, please go out there, share this show specifically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody, thanks for joining us. This has been the Gateway to the Magic. See you, everybody. All right, Tim. So everybody has, uh, you know, they've stopped listening to the show now. What should they do after they're done listening to the show and they're all excited about wanting to go to a Disney park, going on a Disney vacation? What, what, What should they do? I, personally... After being all excited and ready to go, uh huh, I'm going to deal with an expert. Uh huh. I'm going to talk to People Mover Travel and talk to Tyler, our expert over there. Over at PeopleMoverTravel.com. PeopleMoverTravel.com. But when you go there, yes, you got to make sure you click on that you heard about them 
from us. From Resort, Resort Loop. Resort Loop. That is an option on the drop-down menu right there. Absolutely. By the way, Tim. Yes. I just booked through them. How did that go? It was the easiest thing in the world. How can it not be? It's Tyler. I put in my name. I put in the dates I want. Right. Of course, check marked. Resort Loop is where I heard right. of them from. Uh, and sent it off to them. Within an hour, Tyler had gotten back to me. I can't guarantee he's going to get back to everybody that quick. But got back to me in a, within an hour. Letting me know he got it, and he'll let me know as soon as he runs the numbers. Tyler and his team know travel. PeopleMoverTravel.com is fantastic. Love. Easy. You and I have done it a million times on our own. And we missed out on discounts here and there because we're not on top of it all the time. I'm done doing that. Why would we have to do it? Tyler, the People Mover Travel, will do it for you. All right. I, I couldn't, there were some of these I just couldn't talk. I was too tired to move my mouth. Oh, I don't know why. Well, I don't know that, why you'd be tired. That didn't sound right. That's why. Uh, <laughs> that's why. That's why. Just let Jack Wagner say "por favor, mantengan say Alejandro." Yes, exactly. Because eventually we would say something offensive to someone in <laughs> Portugal or something. Exactly. <laughs> what did he say? What did he just say? <laughs> what about my mother? Oh, wait. Hey.